would have thought that one little girl could raise the whole house on its ears? What happened to my baby? Has someone offended her? Grandma will sort everything out. Hmm. I'll have to leave my burger. My little sis is in trouble. We need to go and help her soon. And the chef will have to quit all of her business. Do I hear a little girl crying? Poor thing. Brother Andy, Grandma Kate, and Chef Mia will come together to feed the baby. You're watching Barada. And now she's asking for a pile of pancakes. No question. Hey. Grandma, wake up! We need to make pancakes! Oh, um, I know how to do that. Grandma and Chef needed the dough so quickly that no one even noticed it. And now they're frying pancakes. It looks delicious, but I can do better. I'll add some food coloring to the dough. There'll be different colors. Wow, Handy decided to place the baby with something unusual. Look what a bright colored dough he has. It'll be very tasty and beautiful. Oh. oh. You're so sloppy, Andy. And in general, pancakes are best with some maple syrup and a piece of butter. What? This is a simple, proven over the years recipe. Pancakes with maple syrup? This will not surprise anyone. Here's a serving of pancakes from a professional. I'll need an egg for that. This recipe is called poached egg. It is necessary to boil water in a saucepan and break the egg directly into the water. And while it's cooking, I'll take slices of ham and leaves of greens. And I'll put it all beautifully between the pancakes. Awesome. <laughs> it's time for the baby to appreciate the efforts of the participants of the challenge. First from Andy. They're simply delicious, especially in combination with marshmallows. And now let's try pancakes from grandma. They look pretty simple, however very tasty. And pancakes from the chef look unusual, but the raw yolk of a poached egg is disgusting. The baby did not appreciate it. And the victory goes to Andy. Yeah, I won! Let me fix it for you. Hey. Don't touch it, Grandma! Attention, everyone! The baby wants a juicy steak. Okay. No question. Grandma can do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll be fine. That's it. We take it and fry it. Nothing complicated. How can you fry without oil? You need to lubricate the grill pan thoroughly. Yeah, I'm going to add oil too! Duh. Oh, Andy, don't add so much oil. And of course you should try to get oil in the pan. Now we throw a piece of meat into a frying pan and fry it. <sighs> wow! <laughs> Impressed? Come on! Absolutely! Oh, uh, I can do it too! <laughs> of course, Andy, the main thing is not to miss the frying pan. Oh, uh, I didn't miss! <sighs> oh, young man, watch and learn! By the way, my steak is almost ready. Now you can also add some salt. <laughs> cool throw! Big deal! Hey. Grandma, look, I'm going to give you a lift now! Are you look, ready? I'm like a real chef! No! Oh no! It fell on the floor! <laughs> yes, and it collected hair and dirt, and it's also raw and undercooked. <laughs> uh, maybe she won't notice? Oh my god! Oh, you can't serve a dish like that! I don't know what to do. I'll pour more ketchup. It'll hide all the flaws. That's it. Mm, it smells great. Oh, thank you, Mia. My steak is really beautiful. It remains to add springs and rosemary as a decoration. And that's all your decoration, Grandma? I know something better. Mia knows the secret of the famous golden steak. It'll be a real golden steak like in the most expensive restaurant. Meat should be cut with a sharp knife so as not to spoil the appearance of the steak. Awesome. Oh, that's how it is. I didn't know it. Ready? Now you can serve it. <laughs> Finally, you can try the dishes. Meat with ketchup does not cause the baby's appetite. Um, just look at it. You can see the hair endured. And the golden steak. I wonder if the baby will taste it. Hmm. It seems delicious, but not impressive. Grandma's steak smells delicious, and most of all, it came to the baby's liking. Simple and no frills, but what a taste! Grandma's steak undoubtedly <laughs> takes the first place! I won! Hooray! It's time to eat dessert, and the baby wants to eat… ice cream. 
Now I know the recipe's fried mm -hmm. ice cream. A grandma can make ice cream? Okay. Nothing complicated. Oh. So what is in the recipe? <laughs> you need to chop it into small pieces. Okay. Hmm. How beautiful! Now I'm going to chop it into pieces too! <laughs> Easy as pie! I like chopping ice cream! Oh, watch your knives, young man! And don't throw food around the kitchen! Ugh, got carried away! Sorry, Grandma! <laughs> That's what happens when amateurs get to work. Meanwhile, I have already prepared everything. It remains to complete the dish with a beautiful serving. Nice. Oh, everything turned out perfectly. I'll decorate the ice cream with lemon zest. The sour taste of lemon is perfectly combined with the sweetness of ice cream. Some mint leaves and some smoke of dry ice. This is how ice cream is served in the most refined restaurants. Awesome. Just look at this. Incredible. <laughs> wow! Grandma also prepared everything. Cut and twist. Um, uh, it's not really working out. The ice cream's stuck. Okay, let's just put some chocolate syrup on top. No. <laughs> That's funny. I'm almost done too! Nothing complicated. <laughs> now I'll put in a bowl and decorate it with whipped cream. I love it! I'll have much more for the baby. And now I'll sprinkle some rainbow Skittles candies, a sugar straw for beauty, and some Oreo cookies. Please. Grandma, will you let me? Okay. Oh, thank you! Now I'm going to pour oh chocolate God. syrup. Oh, yeah. so much sugar. Oh, yeah. Let's see what the baby thinks. The colored ice cream from my brother looks incredibly beautiful. But the gorgeous presentation from the chef struck the baby more. Time to try it. A oh, lemon says it's too sour. Oh. Ice cream slices and chocolate mm. syrup looks unappetizing, but it tastes nothing unusual. <laughs> Finally, it's time to try the ice cream from the brother. Whipped cream, sugar straws, and Skittles. Incredibly delicious mm. combination. Awesome. And the winner is… Brother. <gasps> yeah! I knew it! Grandma, let me hug you! <laughs> Everyone concentrate, oh. we continue our culinary duel. The next request is a croissant. The French really like to eat croissants with coffee for breakfast. Oh, Grandma, are you from France? Do you know how to cook croissants? Grandma knows everything. They can be put in the oven and let's wait for it to cook. Ah, I can do that too! One second and let's bake! Hmm, well done, yeah. grandson. I don't approve of frozen dough. Cooking it yourself is not so difficult. By the way, our chef Mia has worked in the best restaurants in Paris and knows the oldest recipe for croissants. According to the recipe, dishes were prepared for Louis himself, the king of France. Therefore, the baby is waiting for a truly royal dessert. And the brother and grandmother watch the chef actions in amazement. How devilish she kneaded the dough, laid it out in layers, and twisted it. What a skill! It remains only to put it in the oven and wait. I won't be able to cook so cool, but I'll add Nutella to my croissants. Oh, my favorite chocolate nut paste. Mmm, delicious. Oh, what kind of manners? It's time to get their croissants. Hmm, how wonderful and rosy. Andy? Look! You're on fire! Oh no! Not that! The brother got carried away with Nutella and his croissants burned down. Yes, the chocolate paste is really very tasty. Don't worry, you're doing great. Yeah, croissants are baked. It's time to start serving. I need an incision and you can pour out prepared cream. I'll add strawberries and I'll decorate the dish with powdered sugar on top. Voila! Everything is ready. Now we can try it. Burn croissants from the brother look terrible. Yeah, it's not worth trying them. Oh, what a smell! Croissants from grandma are delicious, sweet, and so nice. Our baby really liked it. Wow, strawberry sweet cream and delicious dough made according to the royal recipe. Without a doubt, croissants from the chef take the first place. Oh, thank you. I knew that. I wonder how long I can spin without stopping! Hey, get together! Okay. I want the most delicious cake! Wow! Cool! I'll make the coolest one! Nice! Anything? Easy, I'm a professional. Yes! What all kind right, of cake right, without delicious right. cream? Carefully put another cake, another layer of cream, 
and another cake and another and another. Hmm. Let's see. I'll do something interesting. Great. A heart cake with for my beloved Margot. I'll decorate it a little. Let's take a Kit Kat and some cream. Hmm. It turned out well. Perfect. And I'll add some chocolates on top. Margot will like it. Now I'll show you how a cake should look like. Cut it in half. Put one half on the other. Cut out the middle. And then turn it over. Now I'm going to use the colored cream. It'll make the cake look even more like a rainbow. I will align the cream a little and make beautiful fluffy yes! clouds next. Perfect. I'll add cute eyes and a mouth. This is how a real masterpiece looks like. You have no chance. <laughs> it is not necessary that the cake is beautiful. The main thing is that it's delicious. Ah, perfect. What? This mound doesn't even look like a cake. I'm not done yet. Now my cake will also become bright. Milk colored chocolate. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's then add some sparkles. And some more, cause girls love sparkles. Wow, that's so cool. Perfect. My cake will definitely win. Wow, it's not a bad idea, but my cake okay. is still better. Wow, what a beautiful bright cake. Perhaps I'll start with it. Awesome. Mm, how delicious. I'll try grandma's cake next. Mm. Mm, my favorite sweets and chocolate. Perfect. Yes. Um, what kind of weird cake is this? We'll try it. Uh, it doesn't taste good. No. So the cake from the chef has won. I told you I'd win. And it fix your cap. Let's see who makes the best chocolate with marshmallows. Perfect. Okay. Easy as pie. Yes. I'll do it. Well, why are we sitting? We need to start cooking. My secret to delicious hot chocolate is that I add Margot's favorite chocolate to it. I'll mix it well. Yes! Add some Hershey's. Mm, incredible. Let's mix it again and... I'm going to pour it into the mug that Margot gave me. Look what a beauty with my portrait. Oh my. Big deal. A mug. You don't understand. Now I'll try how I did it. Mm, delicious. Um, okay, as you wish. Okay. Real hot chocolate should be drunk from such glasses, not from mugs. I'll pour hot chocolate now. Okay, you need to whisk the cream and make a beautiful fluffy hat and decorate it with marshmallows. This is how hot chocolate should look like. <laughs> Don't touch it with your hands. Um, what should I do? A can of cream. I'll need it. How delicious. We need to make a bigger hat and more marshmallows. Ah, perfect. And also add some candy. Maybe some Oreos. All right, all right. And chocolate right. sauce. Ah, some cookie sticks. No one has done this for sure. Okay. Well, I'll try hot chocolate first from this participant. How many marshmallows? It's so good! It's impossible to stop! Oh, I gave this mug to grandma! <laughs> Although her hot chocolate is so so. I need a straw for this glass. Mmm, delicious! Wow. We need to think a little. Nice. And Andy wins! Hooray! Oh. I'm a real master! Oh, I'm juggling! This time, I want some yes! chips! Wow! How to cook them? I only know how to eat them! Oh, time without your professional Let's tricks. Dance. I'll keep an eye on you. Duh. Um, what should I do? Okay. It's simple. Look, we take the potatoes. We peel them like this. Then cut them like this. Turn on the stove, pour oil, and put the potatoes in. Well, that's pretty much it. Hmm. Uh, I see. Ah. Well, hold on, potato. Ha! 
Now, let's add more oil. There's no time to wait. I'll turn on the stove immediately to the maximum. The lid will be useful for protection. Throwing potatoes, take care. Oops. Um, it seems like it was a bad idea. Be careful, Andy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it turned out perfectly. Mm. Oh my. Ordinary chips? <laughs> my chips will be really excellent. Let's take the tortillas. Cut them carefully. Now I'm going to take some oil. You still won't be able to repeat after a professional. Hit the oil and fry the sliced tortillas until golden brown. And now, what kind of nachos without cheese? I'm gonna put some nachos on the plate and then melt the cheese. This already looks so good. We'll pour the sauce over our nachos. Decorate with lime slices and you're done. This is an excellent dish. I won't be so happy that early. Hey! Oh, I completely forgot about them! Ugh, they should be put on a plate. Hope Margot likes that. I don't think so. What should I do? Um, let's mm. add some cheese powder. It'll fix everything. Nice. Mmm. Yeah, doesn't seem to help. Okay, let's hope Marco likes it. Oh my! My chips are ready. A little salt, and it will turn out super good. Great. Well, and what kind of embers are these? Okay, I'll try a piece. Oh, what a horror! It's impossible to eat. And these look delicious. Mm, how yummy! Wait, are these all chips right, for all sure? Right, all right. I'll take a bite. No, no, it's strange. So, Grandma's chips win! Yes! I told you! You heard it! What? Oh, ketchup will come in handy. Yes! I want some spaghetti. Okay, no problem. Huh. For sure, okay. dear. If only I knew how to cook it. Well, uh. what do I do with that? Okay, put them in a saucepan. Wait, why don't they fit? How do you cook them? Oh, come on, get in! Uh, wait. <laughs> Stupid spaghetti, I'll show you now. Uh, come on, get in! What are you doing? First, you need to turn on the stove. See? And then put the spaghetti in the water. All right, all right, all right. See? That's easy. Holy They're holy. melting in. Okay. What's the matter? Yeah, oh. you definitely don't have a chance. Hmm. Real pasta is prepared differently. We take the flour. Yes. Pour it out with a slide. Make a recess in the center. Then take the eggs. We carefully break and knead the dough. A little black dye, and you'll already get an unusual pasta. It is necessary to cover the dough for a while. I'll make time for it. Let's see. Okay. What? Oh, this what? is a mess. You guys, you all can right, take out the dough right, now perfectly. Right. <laughs> now we're gonna roll it out. Just like so. And now cut it. It turns out like real Italian pasta. Now we're going to boil it. Carefully put it on a plate. Perhaps the octopus is perfect for this pasta. Let's fry it. Put it on top of the pasta and you're done. Awesome! What are you doing? Why so much ketchup? There's no such thing as too much ketchup. Oh. Uh, wait, what's that? Andy, what are you doing? The spaghetti don't want to come out! Huh? Oh, okay, never mind. I'll get you now. Ugh, it doesn't seem to help me anymore. Oh, no! Uh, my video spaghetti should not look like this. Why are they so difficult to cook? Wait, what if I replace them with ready made noodles? I can definitely hand it here. Everything. Okay, we're pouring it out. Cover it. And wait a little. Ready made noodles? Aw, oh, what a horror. These noodles are ready. Cool! Octopus, really? I 
looks disgusting. Uh, how to eat it? Mm, it's rubbery. What? I can't even take a bite of it. Disgusting. <laughs> Spaghetti with ketchup looks delicious. Let's try it. Mm, it's so good. Mm. We eat noodles in a box. Interesting. Mmm, it seems not bad, but… I'm very spicy! My mouth is burning! Funny! I look like a dragon! So, Andy wins! Yes! <gasps> Did I win?! Yeah! That's it for today's Barada challenge! How did you like it, guys? We're gonna see you in our next videos! Bye!